In this video, we will see second solution of backspace string compare and uh, its lead code problem number 844 and it's also part of day 9 question of 30 days lead coding challenge. In uh, my previous video, I had given a solution where uh, we used two stacks, one for each of the strings and uh, here we will avoid stacks and we will solve it in order one space. So when we use stacks, we can at most push number of characters uh, into that stack. So that was the order n solution. And we can also replicate the same behavior, the stack behavior with string variables. So uh, when you push or pop from a stack, that is equivalent to adding a character in the end or trimming the character from the string. So in both cases, we will consider that as O n space. Here we will not use any additional O n space or any additional string variable, but we will do it in order one. So let's briefly recap at the problem again. So you are given two strings, S and T. Here this has symbol means pressing of backspace on uh, a keyboard keyboard. So if there is no character and you press backspace, then nothing will be deleted because already there was no character. But if there is some character and you press a backspace, then this character will be deleted. So here A comes, then you press backspace. So A is deleted. Then you press backspace. Nothing is there. So nothing happens. Then you type C. So ultimately it results in C. Similarly here, you press backspace. This is of no use. Then you type A, then backspace. So A is gone and then you type C, so C is there. So you see that these two denote the same character. After typing A backspace backspace C, you get C. After typing backspace A backspace C, you again get C as the final output. So these are same, so we should return true here. But let's say we had one back, backspace here also. In that case, it would be empty string and we would return false. So uh, the approach that we will follow here is that, uh, uh, we will start from the end. So we have a pointer here. One pointer is here and one pointer is here. And if none, none of the characters are has or backspace, we will check if they are equal or not. So if they are equal, we will move this pointer to one less minus minus. So initially it will be two, four. So if index starts from zero, zero to three, initially it will be three then both are equal. So both I will decrement by one. So it will become two. It will also become two. These can be of different length as is the case here. In this case, it's same. And now we encounter has. So whenever we encounter has, we don't compare has because there are multiple cases which can happen with it. Maybe that uh, there are lots of character before this, but before this, there is no characters. So you will not compare this. But instead, when you encounter has, you need to check to the left which characters will be deleted because we are pressing a backspace here. Uh, but uh, you need to consider how many hashes are there, how many backspace keys are there. Because uh, you will, you cannot treat this as a character. So if you see backspace and you delete the immediately preceding character, you see that this will be deleted, but this is not the case. In fact, we have two backspaces here, so we should delete two digits here. If we don't have two digits, then uh, we will just delete one and we will get empty string. So what we will do, whenever we encounter a backspace, we will keep track of how many backspaces are there in a variable called count. So whenever we encounter backspace, we increment the count and whenever we encounter uh, a non has or, or normal character, we will decrement the count. So this will be when we encounter has, this is when normal character. And uh, when we reach zero, so let's say there were two has characters followed by C, D, E. So plus one, because one has, then again has, so plus two then these two will delete two characters. So we encounter one character, we delete it. 
we will not compare these with the second string because these do, do not exist. We are just trying to find which key, which characters will finally exist after the sequence of these steps. So we will not compare C with some character in second string. First, we need to arrive which character we should compare. So here we have two backspaces. So we need to delete two characters. It may be possible that there are not two characters uh, after this two. Maybe that uh, we have has, has, then just one character followed by another has, then D, E, F. So here we have two S's. So these should delete two characters, but we encountered just one here. So one of them will delete this. And one is pending. And this is another backspace we have added. So now we have two more backspaces than characters. So one deleted one of these and two more. So this will delete these two. So the result of this whole part is an empty string. Now the count has become zero. So whenever we encounter backspace, we increment. When we encounter character, we decrement. And you know the reason now. Now our account is balanced now. So nothing from this part. And this is the character we need to compare to the to a character in different string. In the different string also, we will do the same thing. If let's say this is the variable the position is i, this in this second string, the position is j. So here we had encounter, none of them was uh, backspace at i and j initially, we compared, they're equal, fine. If they're not equal, we will return straight away that they are not equal. But if they are equal, we will decrement both. So here we encountered has. So we now need to figure out what is the character to compare. And similarly, if here also we got has, we will again do the same thing. And here, let's say we arrive at another character, C1, and this is C2. And again, we will compare if C1 is equal to C2 or not. If they are equal, then we will decrement both i and j and do the same in the remaining part. And if they are not equal, we will return false. And when should we stop? Let's say we reach to zero and once again we decrement, we reach to minus one. Then we will stop when both of them goes beyond minus, uh, beyond zero. So uh, let's uh, walk through this example. Uh, so here g is equal. So it will be here and this will be here i and j. So here we have plus two, two back to back and then minus two. So zero, again plus one, minus one. So the next character after g is straight away z. Now find the next character after in the second uh, string. So plus two, minus two, zero, plus one, minus one. Again, we will reach z. So after comparing g, we will compare z. They are same. We decrement, we reach n. Again, none of them are has, so we compare. They are equal, so we decrement both. Here it reaches minus one. Here it doesn't reach less than zero. We reach here, here. But we will not stop here. Uh, this is just one case. It may be possible that uh, we have uh, iterated this whole string, but in the second string, whatever is remaining, uh, we have not reached minus one does not mean that there are some extra characters. Maybe that uh, character from here till the beginning don't contribute anything. So this is just one extra case. Uh, the same way like this, these set of characters don't contribute anything. They are empty string. So, so if one of them reaches less than zero, but other has not, then we will continue this, this logic count plus plus for has and minus minus for character. And if this is the special case where everything from this j till zero contribute nothing, then automatically count will become zero when it reaches minus one. If there are some more characters like a here, 
then count will become zero here when we reach at b because here we did plus one then here minus one zero but still it's not minus one then we will return false so let's see the code for this it should be more clear when we see the code so this is our earlier solution where we used two stacks so whenever we encountered a has we popped out from the stack and whenever we encountered non has we pushed into the stack and finally we compared both of the stack by popping one element at a time from the top the same behavior is replicated with uh, using a string uh, with the same logic that i told earlier that pushing into a st stack is same as appending a character in the end of a string and popping from the stack is same as trimming out the last character from the string so both are same now we will use uh, we will write our today's logic without any extra memory in the form of stack or string so let's denote the first index by i and our strings are s capital s and t so s dot length minus one t dot length minus one and while i greater than equal to zero or j greater than equal to zero and why we are using or here because of the same logic that maybe one of them has reached negative but other has not reached uh, but we have to check just one case that everything from here till zero should be empty string in that case it will automatically count will automatically become zero when it crosses zero if it doesn't cross zero then we will return false now we will keep track of count count here will be the count of backspaces initially it's zero while i greater than equal to zero this we have to always check within a while loop and count so if count is zero we have not found the character which we are looking for in order to compare or count has become zero as is in this case uh, so let's say here we had a here before b uh, not here uh, let's say we have a b then has has then again has so here count is one count is two then count minus one so two minus one is one then here count becomes zero so we decrement but again we encounter a has so in this case also so that's why so either count is greater than zero or s of i is equal to this character then what we will do if s i equal to hash then we do count plus plus else count minus minus so if s i is not hash that means we reached into this while loop because count was greater than zero so we encountered a non has otherwise it would have entered this part so we decrement the count count is greater than zero and we encounter a non has so we decrement the count and finally we do i minus minus irrespective of this because we have to after comparing a character we move to the left and uh, this loop will end when either we have reached beyond zero or our count has become zero and also the current character is not has so we are ready for comparison the same thing we will do for second string we need to find the character in order to compare here just that we will use j and in place of s it will be t and here also 
and j minus minus now we have both the characters so first we will check if i is greater than or equal to 0 and j is greater than or equal to 0 then if uh, if the character in a string s is not equal to character in string j t then we will return false else that means they are equal then we will decrement i we will decrement j and if any of these is less than 0 then we will check if and the other one is greater than 0 or not so this condition will be executed when either one or both of them are 0 if both of them are less than 0 it's fine we have compared everything of both the strings if just one of them is less than 0 then we will return false and finally if we did not encounter any any of these false situations we will return true let's try to run it on our example and it passes for this simple case let's see on submitting if it passes all the cases or not so it does and it gives a very good result even better better somewhat in space as compared to our earlier submissions so this was the submission for using two stacks and this is our current submission and it's better than 100% uh, of the submissions in terms of time and space and a space we can clearly see why although there is not much difference uh, because these in the test cases these would be smaller values not very large values in order to make difference uh, on the scale of megabytes so i hope you liked the problem and you also understood it uh, using this tag seemed to be an easier solution but uh, without using the stack it was somewhat tricky 